I don't think we have any choice but to hit the self-destruct button. I'm gonna take as many with me as I can. Here we go. That was so worth it. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another mod showcase. And today we're going to take a look at the Secret Agent Craft mod. And this mod is like based on movies like James Bond. There's guns and gadgets and even some like tuxedos you could wear. So let's get started. One of the first weapons you're going to want to make is the handgun. And to make this you're going to need three different parts. You need the barrel, the hammer, and also the grip. So to make the grip you will need three iron ingots. To make the barrel you will need six. And to make the hammer you will need three and also you're going to need some flint. But of course you will need bullets as well if you want to shoot your gun. So the recipe for those is pretty simple. Just an iron ingot and gunpowder and you will get nine bullets. So let's test this out. And yeah guys, today I'm going to be using the iron golem to test it because, you know, this actually does a lot of damage and the iron golem has a lot of health. So for the gun, you actually hold it back like a bow like this and 21 damage. I mean, that is pretty powerful. And you can also make a better gun called the golden gun, which I'm going to show you guys next. And that does a ton of damage. So the golden gun is made exactly the same. You will need a golden gun grip, a golden gun barrel, and a golden gun hammer. And for the grip, you are going to need gold ingots instead. Same thing, gold ingots here. And the last piece, three gold ingots and flint. And as you probably imagine with the bullets, it is a gold ingot and gunpowder. And the golden gun is twice as powerful as the normal one. All right, so I'm going to attack with this one. And that is a lot of damage right there, 31. So yeah, it's somewhat expensive to make these guns, but of course, they do a lot of damage and are well worth it, as you can see right here. You could pretty much own any mobs you're going after. Before we get to the next item, guys, I did want to mention the golden gun actually has much lower durability than the other gun. So keep that in mind when you make it. But now we are onto the throwing knives. And these are actually somewhat powerful. Definitely not as strong as the guns, though. And the recipe is just one iron ingot and a stick. And they stack in like sets of six. And that is as big as they get. But yeah, the nice thing about them is when you throw them, you can actually pick them up after. Of course, I'm in creative showing you guys everything. But yeah, normally when you attack with these, you can just go over and pick it up after. So it's definitely worth making these for only one iron ingot. Alright guys, the next weapon is the blowgun. And this one, all you really need is three sticks, so very easy to make. But you can't actually do anything with it unless you have some poison darts. To make these, you will need a feather, an iron ingot, and also cyanide. To make the cyanide, you need apple seeds, which come from an apple. So, kind of easy to make. And what this weapon does is it poisons your enemies. You hold it back the same way as you do with the guns, and bam. The Iron Golem is now poisoned for 12 seconds. So this can be a nice way to do a ton of damage to your enemies. So the next weapon is probably the coolest one. It is the throwable hat. This is like Odd Jobs hat right here. The recipe is three black wool and two iron ingots. So yeah, this you can actually throw at your enemies and you could pick it back up after. So this Iron Golem, it does 10 damage against him. And then I could just pick up my hat again. This is such a cool weapon. I definitely haven't seen anything like this in Minecraft before. So guys, you obviously couldn't be a secret agent unless you had a tuxedo. But luckily, this mod adds in a ton of them. The first one right here actually gives you no protection at all and is kind of just for looks. But the recipe is pretty much the same as normal Minecraft except it is with black wool. Except for the shoes though. So tuxedo, same thing. Legs, same thing. But the shoes are actually made out of leather. But yeah, you can't upgrade these. And right here is the leather one, the iron one, the gold one, the chain one, and the diamond one. And it has like the same look, but you can see there's like a diamond tint to this one, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is go over like one of the recipes for one of the sets. And it's going to be the same for every single one. So for the leather one, the recipe for the head, you just put the helmet like right there. And it's the same for diamond, iron, all that stuff. For the chest, you put it right there. For the legs, put it right in the middle. And for the shoes... You put it right there. So yeah, same thing with each kind, and you can make any type of armor, which is very cool. So now, guys, I am a secret agent. Only issue, I just can't see anything at all. My eyes are just too high up, I guess. But yeah, it does look pretty cool, and it is fun to mess around with. This is actually the diamond one right here. One cool thing about this mod is it actually has gadgets, too. And the first one is the mini air canister. It's got respiration, too, on it, so you can breathe underwater for quite a while. 
So the recipe is just three iron ingots. So yeah, it's very easy to make and extremely useful. So for this one, it just replaces your head. And now I can breathe underwater for about 30 seconds. So yeah, I like how this mod added in gadgets. It is just so useful to have stuff like this. So guys, I switched it to night for the next one because they are night vision goggles. And yeah, this is probably the most useful one here. The recipe is three iron ingots, two glowstone dust, and two glass panes. So when you're traveling around at night or just going through like a cave or something, all you have to do is put this on and you can see everything. Yeah, this is extremely useful. I love how they added this one in. All right, guys, the next one is actually pretty dangerous. It is the exploding pen. And the recipe is redstone, gunpowder, and an iron ingot. And this one I really recommend being careful with. If you have no armor on at all, it actually will kill you in one hit, which is exactly what happened to me. And what it does is it shoots you into the air. It can injure mobs, but it's not really used for that. Um, if there's like a structure you want to get on top of, like I can't reach the top of this tree right here, I would use it like this, and it would shoot me up there pretty easily. But of course, you are going to take fall damage. It is extremely dangerous. So we're on to the last one, and this one is the most dangerous thing I've ever seen in Minecraft before. It is the self-destruct mechanism. To make it, what you're going to need is an iron ingot, redstone, and TNT. And what it does, it blows up everything around you, and it kills you too. So if like there's so many mobs and you're about to die anyway, hit this button, and it will probably finish most of them off, but of course you are going to die too. I don't think we have any choice but to hit the self-destruct button. I'm going to take as many with me as I can. Here we go. That was so worth it. So guys, there is one more thing I want to show you about the self-destruct button. It actually does kill you in creative too. So if you're like messing around in creative, having some fun, and you hit this button, it actually kills you. I find that hilarious. Um, but anyways, guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.